When it comes to the SAP projects, testing plays a major role in determining the success of it. That is where testing tools like Tricent is Tosca comes into the picture. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of SAP testing, introduction to Tricentis test management products, how to learn about Tricentis products for free, free trials, Tricentis community, and finally an SAP crossword challenge that is recently offered by Tricentis, using which you can win some great prizes. So please watch the full video to learn how to win those prizes. If you are new here, my name is Arun and I make videos about SAP topics. Please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. Now let's get into the video. The firstly, what are the different types of SAP testing that are available? There are five different types of testing involved when it comes to SAP projects and operations. They are unit testing, system integration testing or SIT, user acceptance testing or UAT, regression testing and performance testing. Let's take a look at these testings one by one. The first one is unit testing. Unit testing is usually done in the development system where a particular SAP program or a config is developed. Unit testing is performed by the consultant or the developer who made the changes in the first place to ensure whatever changes he or she has made is working as expected. Once the unit testing is completed, the changes are then moved into the SIT system where the system integration testing is performed. In SIT, the changes are tested end-to-end -end, including interfaces, data flow, middleware, and the interaction between these various systems. Let's take an employee onboarding scenario as an example. Firstly, when an employee is newly onboarded into the organization, a ticket is created in the ITSM system, which is called ServiceNow. That ticket will then create a HR record for the employee in the SAP system, and then that record is passed on to success factors for performing other functions like training, compensation, employee profile management, etc. So the whole process starts in the ServiceNow application then moves on to SAP application and then finally finishes in success factors. In the unit testing phase, these steps are tested separately. For example, the ticket creation process will be tested in ServiceNow application, HR record creation process will be tested in SAP, and the other functions will be tested in success factors. But in the SIT phase, the end-to-end -end scenario will be tested including the interface, data flow, and any middleware that might be available in between. Then the next testing phase is UAT, which is the user acceptance testing. This is where the end users who are actually going to use the application and the process will test the scenarios. It usually happens in the SIT system itself, or sometimes there is a separate UAT test system available. Then comes the regression testing. Regression testing is performed to ensure that whatever changes you are implementing will not break the existing functionalities in the production system. Usually a production-like system will be created and the new changes will be imported into that system. It can be an UAT system, as long as it is a recent copy of the production. Then the testers will not test the new functionalities that are going to be introduced, but they will be testing the existing functionalities and processes to ensure that the new changes haven't broken anything that is already working fine in the production system. Then the final testing is performance testing. In the previous testing phases, a few testers might have tested the new functionality but when it goes live, hundreds of employees might get onboarded every day in a big organization. On top of that, there will be numerous other things that will be happening in the system in parallel. That means there will be more people working in the system and there will be more load that is put on the system. Performance testers will simulate that load in a production-like system to ensure that when eventually the changes move into the production, the system will be able to handle the load and it doesn't slow down. All this testing done manually will take a long time and also it will be prone to issues and errors. In order to avoid that, SAP projects use test automation and test management products like Tricentis, Tosca and Qtest. Now let's take a look at what Tricentis is. Tricentis is a software testing company known for its tools and solutions designed to accelerate software testing processes. The company was founded in 2007 and has since become a leader in the field of continuous testing and test automation, especially when it comes to SAP. Let's take a look at the, some of the key offerings that are offered by Tricentis. The first one is Tosca. Tosca is Tricentis flagship product offering model-based test automation capabilities for end-to-end -end testing across various applications. Going back to our example, in the SIT phase, I mentioned that the testers will test the end-to-end -end scenario spanning across three different software applications. And there can be some middleware involved as well. You can automate all of this end-to-end -end testing using Tosca. You can create test scripts and provide data inputs using an Excel sheet and run the automated testing for as many times as you want. 
Kioska will provide dashboards with test results and other analytics. Qtest. Qtest is used for test management to store the test scripts and results. You can integrate Tosca with Qtest so that all the testing including manual and automated testing can be managed in one place using Qtest. Live Compare Live Compare can be used to determine what exactly you must test after importing a particular change into your SAP system. Going back to our example again, if you are importing changes into the SAP system that are related to HR master records, you must only be testing those scenarios instead of testing everything like sales and distribution, procurement, logistics, etc. Live Compare can help you identify those exact scenarios that you must be testing in SAP projects, whether it is something small like importing a transport or whether it is a big project like SAP support pack upgrades or enhancement pack upgrades or S4HANA release upgrades. Neoload Neoload is used for performance testing. You can simulate load on an SAP system or any other software application and test how the system is performing under such load. Based on the results, you will be able to upgrade the hardware or size uh, the application accordingly. And Tricentis offers so many other applications which you can check it out on their website. Now how to learn about Tricentis products for free? One great thing I noticed about Tricentis is that they offer all their training for free. On their website, you can find that under services and support and academy training. A one-time registration is required. After that, you will be able to access the learning materials. The courses are grouped into role-based learning so that it is suitable for everyone from someone who is trying to become an SAP test analyst till someone who is already a senior test manager but would like to gain some knowledge in the Tricentis tools. The learning materials are suitable for various experience levels. Trials Tricentis offers 14 days of free trials for all of its products. It can be accessed by going to Tricentis website and on the top right corner you will see the link trials and demos. I have provided the link in the description as well. ShiftSync Community Tricentis offers a community where everyone can consume information about test management, Tricentis product information, roadmaps, events and many more. It is a great community using which you can learn a lot about the best practices for SAP testing and test automation, which are some of the hot topics in the market right now. Recently, Tricentis has been offering an SAP crossword challenge. The questions are based on SAP solutions, so you don't have to worry if you are not familiar about Tricentis products. All you have to do is download the PDF and fill the answers and send it via email to shiftsync at tricentis.com. Once you have done that, join the Shiftsync community, which is free, and go to this blog and comment that you have completed the crossword challenge. The winners will receive some really cool prizes. It is often for everyone around the world, so you can be located anywhere. The challenges are open until April 9th, 2024, and the prizes will be announced on the April 15th. There is not much time left, so you need to act quickly. Please try that and hopefully you will win something. I have provided the link to everything in the description below. Please like and share the video with your friends as it might benefit them as well and I will see you soon in the next video.